Hi guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this beautiful practice where we will be moving our bodies and doing poses that are just perfect in order to increase our flexibility. And if you haven't already done so, I hope you will click that subscribe button down below um, so that we can hang out more in the future. But for now, let's start moving our bodies. start our practice today in child's pose on the back of our mats. So move your hips towards your heels. Let your chest move down towards the floor and maybe your forehead also rests on the ground. Let's start by taking a few deep breaths in through our nose. And now I want you to start moving your hands towards the left. Really walk them out and to the side. If you can't really feel the stretch on your left side, the left side of your shoulders, your upper back, try to move your right hand further out. And once again, move your forehead towards the ground. Really waking up the side, the right side of our body. And now move your hands. And when you're ready, lower your forehead towards the ground. Remember deep breathing here. Now, dear friends, walk your hands towards the center of your mat. Let's meet in a tabletop position. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees under your hips. And let's do cat-cow. So take a deep breath in, lift your hips up towards the sky, forehead up, we gaze up. And breathe out, round your back, chin towards your chest. Breathe in, arch your back, look up. And breathe out, round your back. Really waking up our spine here. Mobility and flexibility in our spine is so important. A yoga teacher once told me that you are only as old as your spine is flexible. If that makes sense, I don't know if that's the best translation, but I think you get what I'm saying. So mobility in our spine is important for our physical health. It really carries, our spine really carries 
our whole body. And now let's meet with a neutral back. Get ready to move into downward facing dog. How you get there is totally up to you. But let's take a deep breath in together. And breathe out, we peel up. Hips pointing towards the sky. Top of our head towards the ground. And let's start stepping out any tension in our legs, in our thighs, our lower back. Taking our dog for a walk. Now let's take easy small steps towards the front of our mat. Let the top of your head point towards the ground, bend your knees. And let's do some easy pulsations here to really wake up our hamstrings. So on your next inhale, halfway lift, straighten your legs. Place your hands on your thighs, your knees, your shins. We're looking for a straight back here. And breathe out, bend your knees, top of your head towards the ground. Breathe in, halfway lift. And breathe out, move back down. Three more times. And on your next inhale, move all the way up, reach up towards the sky, let your palms meet over your head and let them travel down in front of your chest, in front of your heart. And move your hands down to the side of your body. Let's roll our shoulders back a few times, away from our ears. Reminding our shoulders that we don't want them too close to our ears. We want them to be relaxed. We want them to be away from our ears. Ooh. And now, dear friends, let's take a deep breath in, reach up and breathe out. Move all the way down, bend your knees. Breathe in, halfway lift. And breathe out, move down, place your palms on your yoga mat. We'll meet in plank pose. Now place both of your knees on the ground. Let your upper body follow. Now roll your shoulders back. And lift yourself up, look up and breathe out. Push yourself up to downward facing dog. And on your ne next inhale, on your next inhale, you're going to lift your right foot up and place it on the top of your yoga mat. Now place your left knee on the ground. And move both of your hands up over your head. Palms pointing towards each other. And 
imagine like kind of lift your left hip up. And let's take a deep breath in together. And breathe out, slowly straighten your right leg. We're going to stretch the back of our right leg right here. Place your hands wherever you want to. And on your next inhale, move forward. Place your left hand on the ground and reach your right hand up towards the sky. A beautiful twist right here. And if you want to, you can lift your left knee off your yoga mat. And breathe out, move back. Both of your knees back. And let's lift ourselves up to downward facing dog once again. Now plant your right foot on the ground, lift your left foot up and place it on the front of your mat. Lower your right knee to the ground. And on your next inhale, reach up. Lift your chest, your heart. And let's take a deep breath in together. And on your exhale, slowly straighten your left leg. A beautiful stretch for the back of our leg, our hamstrings, our lower back. And deep breathing here. Breathing deeply and slowly helps us to relax, to remind our muscles that in order for them to really soften, we need to relax as much as possible. And on your next inhale, we move back. Place your right palm on your yoga mat and slowly reach your left fingertips up, pointing towards the sky. And if you want to, you can lift your right knee off your yoga mat. Look towards your left thumb. Deep breathing. And on your next inhale, move back. Left palm next to your left foot. And we step back to a plank pose. Both knees on the ground, upper body follows. Roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, your heart. And breathe out, peel up to downward facing dog. Let's step it out a few times here. And on your next inhale, lift your left foot up towards the sky and breathe out. Bring your left knee towards the front of your mat and lower yourself down. 
we're going to do a movement that is called Dancing Swan. And be mindful of your left knee here. You can try to move it towards the left side of your mat. If you feel any pain in your knee, it's better to move it towards the center. And maybe you also look over your right shoulder, making sure that your right leg is straight out behind you. When you're ready, let's take a deep breath in and breathe out, move down. Breathe in, move up. Breathe out and imagine that you're kind of rounding your back on the way down. And when you move back up, you're arching your back just like we do in the cat cow movement. We're preparing our left hip, our left glutes for a really deep stretching pose that we're going to do very soon. And the next time you breathe in, you're going to stay here. Now we've done dancing swan and now we're moving into sleeping swan. So I want you to be mindful that you can feel that the weight is evenly between your hips, that you're not moving too far out towards the left or towards the right. And when you're ready, you can take a deep breath in and breathe out. You can rest on your hands or you can move down on your elbows. If you're really flexible here, you can move all the way down, resting your forehead towards your yoga mat or resting on your hands. And this is a really deep stretch so it's so important to focus on your breath take deep long breaths through your nose all the way down to your stomach and let your exhale be slow let it be mindful as it leaves your body Now, dear friends, let's move out of this pose. Let's do it really slow. There's no rush. And place your left knee next to your right. And let's stretch out our left leg. Do any movements that feels good for you. Maybe you do some circles. Maybe you stretch it all the way out towards the back of your mat. And now place your left knee next to your right. Let's take a deep breath in and breathe out. Peel up to downward facing dog. Root your left foot to the ground. Now lift your right foot up and move your right knee towards the front of your mat. Again, spend a few seconds here to do the adjustments that you need. And now let's do dancing swan on this side. So we'll take a deep breath in together, lift our chest 
and breathe out, move down. Breathe in, move up, arch your back. Breathe out, move down. Imagine that you're rounding your back. And breathe in, move back up. Two more times. And on your next inhale, stay here. Once again, be mindful of the weight between your hips. Let it be even. And once again, let's take a deep breath in together through our nose and breathe out. You can stay on your hands as always or move further down on your elbows or all the way down and let your forehead rest on your yoga mat. Now let's get ready to move out of this pose. Use the strength in your hands and your arms to lift you back up slowly and place your right knee next to your left. Again, do any movements here with your right leg that feels good. It's a deep stretch, so it always feels so good to do any movements that your body tells you to do afterwards. Get the flow back in your muscles, in your body, in your tissues. And now place your right knee next to your left. Once again, dear friends, let's take a deep breath in and breathe out, peel up the downward facing dog. And let's take easy small steps towards the front of our mat. Bend your knees, let the top of your head point towards the ground. And slowly roll up to a standing position mountain pose. Let's lift ourselves up. And as we get there, we're as strong as the mountains. Beautiful. Now we're gonna step our left foot towards the back of our mat in a wide-legged position. Move your hands out to the side and your ankles should be about under your wrists. I think that's about right. And now place your hands on your hips. Imagine a straight line from the top of your head through your neck, your spine, all the way down through your tailbone. Strong foundation here. 
And let's take a deep breath in together. And we move down with a straight back, wide-legged forward fold. And if you want, you can move your hands down or you can stay here with your hands on your hips with a straight back. And now let's move from side to side. And move as slowly as you want to do what your body is telling you to do. There's no wrong or right answer here. And now let's meet in center. Place your hands on your hips if they aren't already there. And let's take a deep breath in together. And as we breathe out, we lift ourselves up with a straight back. Beautiful. And now let's heel toe our feet together. And once again, let's take a deep breath in, reach our hands towards the sky. And let's travel all the way down, bend your knees. And let's move down to a cross-legged position. Whatever position, seated position, that's right for you. Place your hands on your knees, maybe you close your eyes. Let's take a deep breath in through our nose. Breathe out slowly. Let's take a deep breath in through our nose, the deepest breath you've taken all day. And breathe out, let go. And on your next inhale, you can reach your hands up towards the sky. Let your palms meet over your head. And let them travel down in front of your chest. Dear friends, I thank you so much for stopping by and for joining me today. I hope this practice has made you feel good and that you feel a softness in your body. Being in the present moment, hopefully you have a feeling of being present. Hopefully you have a feeling of gratitude towards yourself for showing up, for doing something good for yourself. And I wish you nothing but the best. Namaste.